All right, whether you like old, good old fashioned home cooking or you've got a craving for a culinary delicacy, Middle Georgia has a little bit of something for everybody I to eat so. and kind of taste your, your, let your taste buds expand. Melissa here, she's, she's going to try pretty much everything in Middle Georgia. One, One restaurant dish. at mm -hmm. a time. This week I'm taking you to Metropolis Korean Kebab and spicing things up. I'll show you the perfect blend of flavor with a kick. To Metropolis we go. If you've ever had Indian food, then you know it's an equal blend of exotic spices and strong flavors. We ask them first, how do they, how do they like the food? Medium, mild, hot, and Indian hot. After more than two decades of working in the restaurant business, Ram Saran, the owner of Metropolis Curry and Kebab in Macon, knows a little something about dishing up good food. Mostly people, they love it, our lamb and uh, lamb and vegetable. They love it. It's about making customers happy and healthy. Uh, the Greek food goes well with the Indian food. The salad is sort of a nice complement to the, the spicier Indian food. The colorful foreign flavor is what attracted customer William Yap. There aren't a lot of uh, restaurants serving foreign cuisine in Macon, which is part of the reason I was drawn to it when I saw it. And when I came here to eat, it wasn't a disappointment. The people come over here, enjoy the food, and enjoy the entertainment also. And they come from all over the world. Curry and rice is popular in Japan. A long list of spices, herbs, fresh fruits, and vegetables are all staples for Indian cuisine. A lot of people know about chicken tikka masala, and uh, it's easy for them. It's like a creamy with the tomato curry sauce. It's a variety sure to spice up your life. And uh, it's our like favorite and uh, everybody's favorite in our restaurant and like a very famous item for the metropolis. Here with us this morning is Ram, the owner of Metropolis Curry and Kebab right there on Riverside. Good morning, Ram. Morning. Thanks Riverside. so much for being yes, here. Yes. So tell us, we've got this great spread of food. Talk to us about what we have here today. Today I brought like a chicken tikka masala with this have a gravy and it's like a white chicken plus rice and a vegetable korma with the garlic naan and pishuri naan. It's one I have with the raisin, cashew and coconut in it. So there's really something for everyone. You've got a vegetarian dish here. We've got the great garlic naan. Um, I want to talk a little bit about the chicken tikka masala, which is what we featured um, on in the story just now. What makes this dish so great? The chicken tikka we have uh, cooked into the clay oven. And first we cook chicken tikka, then after that we add into the gravy, which one we have special with the uh, tomato, tomato curry with the gravy from the onion and garlic and uh, ginger in it and so we add some like a uh, heavy cream so make it like a creamy sauce we have all like uh, homemade curry in it and it's really good this is the best it's, one. this is what i order every time I go right, to the this is the best one we i do. love it and i always get it indian <laughs> hot because i really like the indian spices we do make it like uh, mild medium and uh, hot and uh, extra hot also okay <laughs> and then really quickly we want to pull up the ingredients on our full screen back there we've there's actually a lot that goes into this recipe but we'll post most of it on our website so our viewers can take a look at that not really. <laughs> well, there, there's a lot of stuff that goes into no, this recipe. Actually, that's uh, <laughs> some kind of like a cumin. Uh -huh. It's a cumin seed and uh, it's like a garlic paste. All right. Well, we'll take things over to Samantha. Samantha, got a lot of good food here for you when you get done in the weather center.